there, it's Miss Milena. So I got this amazing antique lace at a flea market this weekend, but you can literally feel the dirt just kind of almost woven into the fabric. I'm sure this has happened to a lot of you, so I'm gonna show you some basic cleaning methods on how to get rid of this dust and to kind of liven it up again. This lace is over 100 years old, so there are some issues, but I consider them pretty small, especially if I'm gonna rework it into a skirt or something. So the first step that I do with all of my antique clothing is, let's just rinse out the dirt before we can begin, okay? Make sure you get a good pair of gloves. It's really important to protect your skin. Okay, now that the water is full, we're just gonna kind of move the fabric around. Be sure to be really gentle, especially with these older netted laces, because you don't want to be the reason why they're tearing. You don't want to wring stuff out like we're used to seeing people do. Sometimes when you're washing antique and vintage clothing, you'll actually get some odor that comes out of the clothes as you're washing them. It's pretty satisfying. So now that we've rinsed it out, we're gonna let all this water drain. This lace is pretty dirty, so I'm gonna give it another rinse. You can see on the second rinse, the water is a much lighter color. There's less dirt coming out as well. Now that we're finishing up the second rinse, and you can see the fabric is already starting to lighten a little bit, the stains are gonna come out. We're gonna let the water out and transfer the fabric to our other bowl. The next step is to add the OxyClean, but don't do it right to the cold water that you had. No matter what it is that I'm washing, I use a full scoop. It's actually much gentler than people think it is. So I'm gonna put this into my sink. And then you want to want to switch to really hot water. Again, this is just the OxyClean and water. You're not going to add the clothing just yet. By doing this, the hot water is going to help the OxyClean dissolve. If you put OxyClean right into cold water, it's going to harden up and become like a rock. So now that our OxyClean has dissolved in the hot water, you're going to see a little bit of suds on top. The water is going to look a little murky. Wait for the water to cool. It should only take about five minutes and then you're going to add your delicate fabrics, okay? Now that the water is cool, we can add our delicate fabric. You're just going to put it in and again, be really gentle with how you're handling it. You don't want to wring it or like push it around too much and just lay it in there. Now that it's all mixed in with the OxyClean and the cold water, just walk away and let it sit for a while. I'd say probably about an hour you should be good. Sometimes you'll have to rinse it out and repeat, but let's just start there and see how much it comes up, okay? So we had to repeat that process a couple of times, using the hot water to dissolve a cup of OxyClean, swishing our fabric around in the water. You can watch the color get really dark, wait about an hour, rinse it out, repeat. And now if you look, we've rinsed everything out and the water is pretty clear and the fabric is so much lighter. You want to make sure that you rinse out all the OxyClean because if you don't and your item dries, you're going to get these like yellow stringy marks and some hardened areas. So this is pretty clean. So we're going to let all the water out. I like to hang my pieces outside to dry. This piece of lace is a little fragile. So instead of hanging it so it's really heavy, you don't want it to pull and stretch in a weird way. Lay out some towels and then you can lay the fabric out on top of it and it will slowly dry. Some people like to roll it up also to get out some of the extra moisture, but with this fine netted lace, it really isn't necessary. Thanks so much for watching this video on how to clean some antique lace. Comment below and let me know what else you want to learn about when it comes to taking care of vintage and antique clothing. And be sure to follow me on social media and Etsy for great vintage finds. Thanks again.